my love bugs and love muffins is mama love and i am here with the cooking video and what i'm going to be doing today is preparing like two meals i have to show y'all the salmon patties that i'm making and um the salmon itself i'm actually believe it or not i'm not an applebee's i'm at home today so i'm gonna show y'all how i do this and um stay tuned okay so here i go i'm gonna start out with the simplest first because I'm preparing a meal. So this is what I have, I'm gonna show y'all. I have my steamer here. This is, makes it real easy for me. I'm gonna add my brown rice and the boil at the bottom. I don't want that much rice, so I'm just gonna add very little. I don't measure stuff. You know black folks don't measure stuff. And I got my top on here. I'm gonna add broccoli. It's like a two serving size, but like I said, you can eat all the vegetables you want. And I'm gonna go ahead and add my butter to this, like this. And you guys, it's, I can't believe it's butter. So I even watch the seasonings and, and type of butters and stuff like that that I put in the food. And I'm gonna just go ahead and put a little seasoning salt on it, let that do it, put the top on that, and that's doing what it do. I'm gonna plug it in. This is my little steamer, y'all. It helps a whole lot, this thing, it really helps uh, cut down on a lot of stove time, is what I'm saying. And while that's doing that, I'm preparing my salmon, okay? Now these are the salmon itself I'm gonna season. Um, and I'm gonna squeeze the lemon on. This is the salmon croquettes that I'm gonna make. Here's my cornmeal and my egg I'm gonna use. And I got me some garlic and onions I'm gonna add to it because I love that. And then my seasonings. That's how we gonna do that. So this is the salmon I'm preparing. I'm gonna do it with my, with my lemons. Don't y'all talk about me, this is my first time doing this now. I'm gonna season it. A little seasoning salt. I'm not gonna do it on the other side because I don't wanna be all them, all them seasonings and stuff on there. I'm, I, I just wanna really get the taste of the fish, a little pepper. Um, I'm gonna do some, uh, let's see the top off of this. Oh, a little onion powder, and I'm doing garlic powder, and then the juice, I already know I got lemons on it, but I'm gonna squeeze it on here, the juice, onto the salmon. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna bake this, you all. I'm going to take and put this and the boil. So this is what I really want to get to. My salmon patties. It was requested by Queen. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions and garlic I put in here. And I'm gonna add my, my pepper. I know I already got garlic, but I'm putting garlic powder. I'm putting onion powder. I know I already have onions, but I love that taste. And I'm going to, oh Jesus, sorry son. And I'm going to add the seasoning salt as well. That's it. I'm going to add an egg. Well, maybe I'll add two. And I like to mush it up with my hands, y'all. So when you're mixing up something real good, I believe in using my hands, okay? But I don't like it all in my fingers. So I'm gonna get some gloves. Okay, so I got my gloves on. So I can just go in and work now, y'all. Okay, this is how I do it. Mix everything up. I only use one can of salmon. Um, as I said, this is Queen's favorite dish that I make, I make it with rice and biscuits, but I'm not doing all of that. I'm just doing the salmon. Tina likes salmon. You like salmon? Mm -hmm. Ajane likes salmon, but Terrell's like, no way. So, getting it all mixed up here in the bowl. Yeah, bring it closer. Okay, now I got my eggs and everything in there real well. It's a really simple dish. And now I'm gonna add my cornmeal mix. <laughs> I don't add flour. I always believe cornmeal go with fish. I don't care what type it is. Actually, that was a 
cup of flour, but I'm seeing how it does because I don't like when my salmon patties do not stick. Okay. Okay. So that's how that's going. And now that I got done mixing that up, come over here with me to the stove. I'm going to see much how much oil. Let me cut this off. They was doing hamburgers earlier. Okay, so you see. Yeah, the chicken in the back to my low battery. All right, I'm gonna change my battery. So I'm gonna turn that down because I don't want that to fry too high. I don't have that much grease in there as is because I just want it to basically, basically like touch, you know, I don't want to fry it too hard. It don't take long for salmon patties to fry. So that's why I'm doing it like this. And I basically just take them like this and I make patties. Crabby patty. <laughs> like that, I'm gonna lay that there. I'll go ahead and get my 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 stove is uh heating with a little bit of oil that I have my little patties patty milk oh yeah you know what I imagine these would taste good with cheese on them too some people put uh like cheese slices on them have you ever had it like that no. Ajene probably would be good though yeah um I think I'm gonna make like one more patty wait a minute, hold up like one more one more patty like with this yeah that's enough for one more patty that's that now over here let me show y'all something this steamer is it's so it's so good y'all because see how it's doing now my broccoli is done it's already done That steamer is, is a lifesaver. And at the bottom of the steamer is the rice. It's the brown rice. And that's finished. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and turn that off. That's already ready. Um, my oils should be hot enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my, my salmon patties. Hope they don't fall apart on me. And I'm gonna fry three at a time. That's about it, cause I don't want. Yeah, and I'm gonna leave these three. I'm gonna leave these three with each other and leave those three with each other. That way, don't nobody, nobody feels alone. <laughs> that <was> so horny. <laughs> okay, so that's that. I put my fish in a broiler. Um, I did it like that the other day. It tastes just like it was grilled. So. That's how we gonna do it. Stay tuned. Once again, y'all. Just sitting in here. Once again, um, I cannot reiterate how like healthy I've been feeling. I've been I've been feeling so good, y'all, my body. I wake up, I have so much energy. Um, hand me a paper towel, baby. Jesus. Um, I have so much energy now, you know what I'm saying? It's just like I just feel I feel so good, you know, and I, I want to keep this going. Ice water with lemon in it. I never thought I would fall in love with it, but now it's like I, I start to crave it. Uh, if I do drink something, it'd be like decaf coffee, you know? I like hazelnut creamer. And it's like, you know, it's like a healthy way of living. I'm glad I'm finally doing it. Too bad I wait till I get 48 to do it, but that's the way it is. Hey, you, hey, you get tired of feeling like you're feeling. You know, I just noticed that a lot of times I wasn't uh, feeling like, I wasn't feeling like nothing when I would be out eating that fast food and my skin would just look bad. I would just look bad. And you know, and it's just, you know, it's like that fast has done so much for me, y'all. That, that Daniel's fast has done so much for me. And I thank God for that, that, that fast, that Daniel's fast. It was just, God has done so much. He has strengthened me so much. My prayer life is so much better. Um, you know, it was really like, not my first time fasting, but my first time that I really wanted to put my all into it. You know, a lot of people can fast, you know, um, sometimes we fast for the wrong things. Um, sometimes we uh, fast, we have to do it. You know, like, well, I'm pushing the plate away, I'm gonna pray. Then you give God a, whatever time you give him, but it's not your all, you know? But it's like my fast, it's like, I really wanted to put everything into it. And it's like, I really wanted to cry out in that prayer. You know, I went up in my prayer closet. You know, I really wanted to cry out to him. I really, 
I wanted him to know how sincere I was. You know, he always say, when you worship me, worship me in spirit and in truth. And I wanted him to know the sincerity and the depth of my prayer. And I really wanted to show him this time, you know, because it's all about, you know, it's about him, about proving yourself to him. Like, showing your, yourself available. Showing yourself ready for him. So I'm gonna go over here and check these. I got into the conversation. And them patties over here burning, y'all. So y'all, excuse me. Okay, so we're gonna take. Oh, I got it. I got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take them and we're gonna flip them. Um, what's that number on? Oh, perfect. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. Over here talking about the Lord. The Lord watching my salmon patty. <laughs> and uh, and that's how I like them to look. Basically, you need to put some. Sorry. Is it on there? Is it on there? I can make. Can you see that it's on there? Yes. Okay. Sometimes I thought I was holding them. And uh, I don't know. That's brown. But thank you, Jesus, for watching my sewing patties as I was talking. But that's how that's coming along. And I'm going to check this pan down here and see how that's coming. Okay. And I want that side to where it's brown when I'm finished. So, how are we doing that? And that's. And that's coming along but as i was saying like i was saying look she walking with it <laughs> as i was saying you know i really want to really show myself to him and when your ways pleases god it's no good thing that he will withhold from you no good thing at all that's what the word of god said baby ajane is so sweet i love her <laughs> she'll stand there and hold it like she's a statue the uh Statue of Liberty. Yes, when your ways please God, there is no good thing that he will withhold from you. And I just been seeing like blessing after blessing, but at the same time I can see the enemy trying to attack after attack. You know, just just, just with uh, mediocre things though. I would say now mediocre with things I thought back then were so, oh this is so hard. And, Oh, I had that petty.com spirit. You know, God had to break that pettiness up out of me. Oh, they, that's, the, that's, that's this. They said that. You know, that's mediocre stuff that, uh, just a lot of things I can't name right now off the top, but that was petty. I was petty about, you know? And, you know, we don't think that spirit is real, but that spirit is real. It's real and it's alive today. The spirit of pettiness. I thank God. I thank God for the maturity that I see uh, and me, I thank God for the change. You know, I, I just feel so free and empty on the inside. And I just feel like food for me was a big sacrifice. And you know, they said when you fast and you have to sacrifice something. Somebody said um, to me, uh, you're not fasting because you're eating one meal a day. There are several ways that we can fast. We can do either Daniel's fast, which is, which is in the word of God, when he was talking about the vegetables and everything, um, vegetables and uh, water, uh, lentils, uh, nuts. Um, I heard it was okay to have unleavened bread. That's the Daniel's fast, mostly consists of vegetables and water. And uh, uh, there's a one meal a day fast. Let me tell you something, anything that you sacrifice for God is a fast. Uh, uh, sustaining from social media, that's a fast. Come on, you know, a lot of us, uh, we put a lot of our times in Facebook, uh, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, you name it, you know, fasting from that, um, fasting from TV, you know, and I think one of my biggest sacrifices, y'all, was the fast from the foods that I love to eat. I love junk food, I mean, I love, I, for one, I love chicken. And I always would say, I can eat chicken. Chicken good, though. You know, I can eat chicken. But not this round. Not this round. I, that's a big sacrifice to me. I've never been to, like, a burger or a steak lover, you know, or any other type of food. My main thing was chicken. And I love fish, but chicken is my, my top. And I haven't had it. And I won't go back to it. I don't want to go back to it. So, I mean, it's a sacrifice. It's constantly, like, a sacrifice every day because I want to change in my life. I want God to see that I'm, I'm really trying, even though he knows my heart, I want to prove to him, he already knows me, but I want to prove to him that I'm for him 
and I don't want to be no weak jelly back Christian. He needs me. He needs me in the field. You know, he's using me in areas that I thought I would never be used. You know, when people make you feel like you're nothing and you won't amount to anything, you know, God will move you on up. You know what I'm saying? God chooses to speak through who he wants to speak through. And a lot of people, because they think they're Bible scholars or, you know, they know the word, tell me, you know, God can bring a scripture down in your spirit when you got the Holy Ghost. And you'd be like, where did that word of God come from? You know, it comes from going to Bible study. It comes from learning, you know, from what your pastor taught you and a lot of things. I appreciate the men of God that I was up under in my life um, that have taught me a lot um, and the, concerning the word of God and, you know, my, my beliefs and stuff. I just thank the Lord for that. But I thank the Lord for those scriptures that just come off the top of my head like that. You know, that's God. That's the Holy Ghost. That's down in my spirit. That's coming up. Whatever down up in there comes, comes out of there. You know what I'm saying? It's not... It's not what goes in that, that, that contaminates the man, but what comes out contaminates that man. You know, and so if the word of God coming out of me like rivers of, of flowing water, like a river of flowing water, that's the word. That's the word of God, y'all. And I just thank God for his cleansiness. And I'm going to take these out because I'm going to burn my things again. Okay. Okay, so I'm taking my patties out. I forget the time. You'll see the other one won't cook. I'm sitting here running. Blah, 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 blah. Running my mouth, and uh, and also you guys, I fried this in canola oil. It's fried in canola oil. Oh, Jesus. Here we go. That struggled a little bit, but I got it. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, I'm gonna turn this down some because I got kind of high. Those are not gonna be in there as long as these. Get these over here to the light. Doesn't take long for them to brown, as you can see. That first batch, I kind of got into what I was talking about, but that's okay. I'll watch this batch. Don't run for me, Krabby Patty. This is what you call a Krabby Patty. It's crabby. <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I, I ain't about to burn myself. Y'all laughing at me chase this patty around the... You know what the devil is a like. Lose your hope. There you go. <laughs> All right. What's that? That's about how I want them to look. Okay, you all. So, here's the finishing touches. This is my plate. This is the way I've been eating. And I'm so happy. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, so this is it. This is my, my, my broccoli, my steamed broccoli over my brown rice. This is brown rice. This is the salmon patty. And this is my salmon that turned out with the lemon. I always squeeze that. And my water, you all. And I'm gonna try this. Cause like I'm saying, I broiled it the other day and uh, it tasted Awesome. I'm, just because I'm on here, that don't mean I'm going to use this fork. I'm going to break this fish off with my hand, y'all. Hmm. It tastes good. It sounds good. I'm going to break my, my patty in here. This is my salmon patty. Salmon croquettes. Queen's favorite. Oh. I know you could put what ingredients you want in your salmon patties, but me, I'm an onion and garlic lover. Oh my God. Somebody said put bell peppers in it, but I never did it before. But chopped onions and chopped uh, garlic is the bomb.com. Mm, mm, mm. And then I got my steamed rice and my steamed broccoli. Y'all, I'm telling you, won't he do it? Won't he do it? God will turn it around. I'm telling you. You're talking, you're talking to a fast food eater. Pull up at McDonald's, Wendy's, Rally's, Popeye's chicken in a minute and think nothing of it, okay? God is good. God is good. So I hope that y'all enjoyed this video though. I want y'all to give it 
No, I'm not saying what Tina say. Enjoy this video. Peace out in Jesus' name. <laughs>